Today we'd like to give you some setup tips to get the most out of your camera whilst using the Edge water housing. Today I'll be talking about the Sony FX30, but these same setup tips will apply to the FX3 also as they share the exact same camera layout and menus. The first step is to ensure that this setting is turned on as it may be set to off as a factory setting when your camera comes out of the box. The first step is to press menu, navigate down to the shooting menu or the red menu, look for option four called shooting mode, enter that, then scroll down to exposure control type and press right on the D-pad to enter. From there, you want to highlight PASM mode and confirm by pressing the center of the D-pad. By ensuring that that step is completed, you can now manually control the settings of your camera whilst inside the water housing. Now we want to make sure that you can control the shutter speed and aperture via the rear dial and wheel. The first step is to press menu, head down to the setup menu, which is the last option or the yellow menu. Head down to the third option called operation customize. From here, enter that menu and head to the second option with the video icon called custom key dial set and enter that. From here, head to the last option, which is called dial wheel. Enter that menu and highlight number two and press the center button of the D-pad. From here, we'd like to allocate our shutter speed. So highlight shutter speed and press select. Now you can go to option three, enter that and highlight aperture. And to confirm, press the center button. Next up is how to control your ISO on the camera. First step is to press menu, head down to the setup menu again, which is the last option. Enter that and look for the third option again, which is called operation customize. Enter that menu and scroll down till you see FN menu settings and enter. From here, we want to go down to the second option, which is the video function menu. Highlight the first cell and press the center of the D-pad. From here, you may need to go back through the menu a few steps and then down to enter the pink menu, across to option one, and then across again to highlight ISO slash EI and confirm by pressing the center button. Now it's as easy as pressing the FN button on the back of the camera, highlighting the ISO and changing that rear dial to adjust the value. Next up is mapping the record button to the shutter button. Press menu, head down to the last option or the yellow setup menu, then head down to option three operation customize and enter that scroll down until you see record with shutter and highlight and enter that menu highlight on and confirm by pressing the center button customizing the power options on the camera will allow you to shoot for longer in the water press menu head down to the setup menu again then down to number eight called power setting option. Enter that menu and then enter the power save start time option. Once you're inside here, we suggest selecting one minute and to confirm pressing the center button. This will allow you to save battery life and extend your shooting time in the water. We hope that these setup tips will allow you to get the most out of your camera whilst shooting in the edge water housing. Now, if you have any questions regarding this product or any of the Aquatec products, please reach out to our trained staff via the website for the best support.